Hi, my name is Jason and I'm an application engineer here at 3M. Welcome to our three-part series on our standard operating procedure around the random orbital polishing system. Before we get started, there's a few things I want to mention. First is you want to make sure you're always wearing the proper protective equipment. In this video, we'll be wearing nitro gloves, safety glasses, ear protection, as well as a respirator. The other thing I want to mention is this video is intended for professional use. So for you technicians actually out there in the body shops. If you have any questions on warranty or additional safety information, be sure to check the links in the description below. So for this first video in our three-part SOP series, the first thing we need to do is defect removal. So I have in front of me a freshly painted panel that has a few minor defects, where if this were a vehicle in a shop, we need to fully remedy those before we can move on to compounding, which we'll cover in our second video, and finally polishing, which we'll cover in our final video. So looking at our panel and identifying our defects, there's a few ways you can go about remedying these. Some people like to jump right into sanding, um, which is perfectly fine, you can do that. I like to take either a razor blade, a nib file, or in this case, a Festool blade, and take care of some of the bigger imperfections first. It just speeds up my sanding process and ensures that everything is nice and flat. So I'm gonna go around and look at some of these bigger ones. Um, there is a, a type of fuzzy up in this corner. It's a pretty big defect. If we were sanding that, we might burn through our corner. So the nice thing with using something like a Festool blade is we can fully flatten that area first. So we should just have to lightly sand it before we can move on to compounding. So I'm just simply removing those bigger defects by laying this string side down, which holds this tool at the right pitch, and then just gently moving across the panel until everything feels nice and smooth. Okay, that should be it for our larger defects. Now we can move on to sanding. So for our random orbital system that we're gonna be using, we recommend sanding with 2000 grade abrasives and then eventually we'll move on to a 3000 grade Trizac pad for our final sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my respirator on and get this panel sanded. With our 2000 grit, we're gonna go ahead and sand this dry. I like to make a quick pass over everything. That'll really highlight the orange peel and any defects that maybe I missed with my eye. So we have all of our defects sanded out with 2000 grade abrasives. So now we're ready to move on to our Trizac 3000. I get a lot of questions around these types of sanding discs, how to use them, how much moisture should be on them. What I like to tell people is these should be damp, but not wet. So a good rule of thumb is a couple of sprays on the panel and then one spray on the pad itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pad on here. Again, we'll just do a couple, couple sprays on the panel with regular water, and then one spray or two on the pad. We just want it to beat up a little bit, but we don't want it saturated. So that's plenty of water. So just like before, I'm gonna throw my respirator on, and I'm gonna get this panel sanded, and then we can move on to compounding. I'm gonna use this very similar to, almost like I was painting, so I wanna do a nice, almost like a 50% overlap moving back and forth. I like to change direction then and go back the other way. Basically, you wanna get about four to six passes over any spot that you've sanded with 2000 grade abrasive. <laughs> now that we've sanded our entire panel with our Trizac 3000, ensuring to get each spot four to six times, it's now time to clean off the sanding slurry that we get from using the water. Some people use a rag for that. You can also just grab a squeegee and squeegee all of that off. 
and we can see how good of a job we did sanding. So everything's looking pretty good so far. Just to double check with everything, it's a good idea to use some inspection spray or a wax and grease remover and clean anything off that might be left on the panel so we can see if we missed any little sand scratches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on, spray some of our inspection spray on and wipe this down and make sure we're good to go to the next step. So I got our panel all cleaned off with inspection spray. Everything looks really good. I don't see any DA marks or anything like that that I need to sand any further. So at this point, we'd be ready to move on to compound. Compounding is something we're gonna cover in our next video. So make sure you stay tuned and watch that next video in this three-part series. Thanks as always for watching this one. If you found this content useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or leave a comment down below. If you want more information or to see any of our SOPs on a PDF type document, be sure to check us out at 3M Collision Repair Academy. Thanks and we'll see you in the next video.